Despite the fact that throughout the history of man torture was a constant since ancient Greece, the truth is that it is often said that during the Middle Ages this practice experienced a kind of golden stage in which a multitude of methods and machines of suffering were created. These utensils served to bring out the truth by force, or simply to inflict punishments on those who had not acted within the dubious morality of the moment. There are medieval torture museums in various parts of the world. Places where the visitor, between fascinated and terrified, observes these inventions of man that demonstrate his immense ability to harm his fellow men. Among these objects we can highlight some that to this day continue to amaze with their cruelty. The Head Crusher. This machine was made up of two iron bars. At each end of these were two screws that had the sole purpose of crimping. The victim of the torture placed his chin on the bottom bar of this object, in turn a helmet was pushed down by a screw. This invention was intended to compress and burst the bones of the skull. First the rupture of the dental alveoli occurred, then the jaw cracked while the brain was draining through the cavity of the eyes and sneaking through the fragments of the skull. The Hanging Cages If we traveled to the past, around the 18th century, we would find these large and gloomy iron and wood cages everywhere on the roads throughout Europe. In these places, the criminals were locked up. There, devoid of clothes, food and water, they died in full view of everyone. Many times, his executioners were not satisfied by death due to starvation due to lack of food or due to extreme temperatures. They preferred to continue torturing the victim by putting wild cats in the cage while they were being pricked with fire. They also enjoyed creating bonfires under the cage so that the prisoner died burned by the fire. The Foal This is a great classic within the medieval tortures. His mission was to break all the victim's bones, and he really managed to do it without much effort. Used by the Inquisition as a favorite method of torture, the prisoner was laid on top of this wooden bed. There they tied their feet and hands to the ropes and then they pulled hard to get their limbs to fall apart. The torment of the rat. It was not always necessary to use devices. The truth is that there were also practices that could be even more cruel than those mentioned above. The rat's torment is a test of them. A rat was placed on top of the prisoner's abdomen. A cage was placed on top of it open at the bottom and began to get annoyed with red-hot rods. The rat, at that moment, can only do one thing, look for a way out of the open part of the cage. 
To do this, he makes a tunnel through the guts of the condemned. On many occasions he could go out from another part of the body. These are just a few small samples of the immense amount of torture utensils. They can also highlight the wheel, one of the cruelest of the entire Middle Ages, by which all the victim's bones were crushed, trying not to lose consciousness, and then he was tied to a wheel so that he died slowly while he was transported. Or the Bull of Phalaris, a hollow object on the inside that the Coney got into while he started with fire on the outside to burn him alive. The Middle Ages is considered the golden age of torture, when more methods of torture come to be designed for different purposes, but with a common purpose, to inflict damage. To begin with, we must demystify the generalized idea that usually comes to us a priori with this topic, the Inquisition. With full guarantee we can demystify the Inquisitors, since later ones have been more effective torturers and have used great technologies to create instruments of torture and mass annihilation. Torture has always existed and continues to exist, you just have to look around us. During the 18th and 19th centuries, methods of torture have been abolished, being condemned by the Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, despite unfortunately continuing in some countries. Among the most recent methods of torture we find among others electricity, drugs, drugs, chemicals, psychological pressure, these new methods unlike the previous ones avoid the physical marks of the torture, but not the destruction of the being. Faced with these practices, there are various organizations such as Amnesty International or the Action of Christians for the Abolition of Torture, which fight for its abolition. In the Spanish case, the Constitution of 1978 in its Article No. 15 states, that no one can be subjected to torture or to inhuman or degrading punishment or treatment. The Spanish Criminal Code, reformed in 1988, establishes an increase in penalties for these crimes and expands the assumptions of torture including insults, threats and coercion as part of psychological torture. Despite these advances, there is still a long way to go, since cases such as domestic violence are the order of the day. As for tradition, we can point out by way of introduction that on many occasions the torturers helped each other with animals such as the case of goats, which were not lacking in the dungeons of medieval castles. The victim stood with his legs in a net, in order to immobilize her, and the pleas were squared with fat after which the goat began to lick hard lifting the skin of the feet causing great pain. Another significant case that we can anticipate is the so-called rat torment, consecrated in the medieval west although it was already known in China, the procedure was the following, an open cage was placed on the victim's abdomen with the rat inside that was disturbed by the torturers, mainly with fire, the animal to try to flee proceeded to pierce the victims. 
Natural methods have also been subjected to torture such as the case of gout to drop, which was widespread during the Middle Ages, and used mainly to obtain confessions or information from a subject. It was a very slow method in which the coney was tied to a pole or wall and tied his neck, feet, hands and forehead, making the head coincide with a continuous water outlet. This caused a state of madness in addition to ending up eroding the bone of the craniomasia procusor the death. Instruments and methods of torture and death. The water method. With this method, the victim was forced to ingest a large amount of water, with the help of a funnel that was placed in the mouth. They were made to swallow approximately 10 liters, causing a terrible feeling of drowning, in most cases the explosion of the stomach. The touch method. Very widespread by the Spanish Inquisition during the 15th and 16th centuries. Its name comes from one of the necessary elements for this torture, it touches it, which was a white linen or silk cloth that was inserted into the mouth trying to reach the trachea and then soaked with water causing a feeling of choking and gagging. The modern towel. It is a modern method that consists of placing a towel on the victim's mouth and nose and pouring water that causes momentary asphyxia, it is a method that does not leave makas and it cannot be shown that she has been tortured. In the 20th century it has been used by armies and police forces as the proven case of South American dictatorships. The Bull of Phalaris. It consisted of putting the heretics inside a sphinx of bronze or iron in the shape of a bull, burning them alive. I used to amuse the spectators by the screams of the victims that were emitted through the bull's mouth, simulating the animal's moans. The Trapped. Typical of the medieval era and known in Spain as La Garucha, it consists of tying the contier with his hands back and hoisting him with a rope by means of a pulley. He used to put the victim a weight on his feet to let him fall once he was elevated. It used to be repeated several times with each victim. The Borsegi. It was the most popular footwear of the 15th century, it covered the ankle and was opened at the front and tied with straps or laces, because this method, which takes the same name as footwear, consisted of squeezing the victim's ankle by means of several woods linked by iron straps or cats, to administer pressure until the bones are broken. The Hangout. It was a horizontal bar, held on two vertical bars, from which hangs a rope with a bow, on which the condemned were hung. In the Middle Ages this penalty was practiced by the feudal lords to their plebeian vassals, being a vile way to die. The Rope The Inquisition applied this method to many of its inmates. It consisted of a simple but very painful method, they placed the victim on a table or on the floor, with some ropes tied to their members and turned the ropes until they were tightened. The tension of the rope that causes the stretching of the limbs, resulted in the dislocation of the joints. The shackles. They have been used since ancient times, according to various sources, the Egyptians knew the chains and grilled their slaves and inmates of crimes. In medieval dungeons it was very common to have prisoners hanging on arms or dolls. By means of chains attached to the wall. Ringed in rings. The victims could stay like this for a long time, causing pain, cramps, dislocations. And in the long term invalidated her.